I'm going to demonstrate how to export your note cards from Noodle Tools to Schoology. First, open up Noodle Tools, and then you're going to open up the project where your note cards are at. Then you're going to click the tab that says Note Cards. Once you're ready to export your note cards, in the upper left hand corner, click the More button and then click Print. And you're going to open it up in uh, Export in Word Online. You're going to leave all these buttons checked and you're going to click on the Submit button. You might have to log into Microsoft Online again if you haven't already. Now your document of note cards is ready to be edited before we send it to Schoology. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add page numbers. So make sure that your home button is checked and then you're going to click the insert button and then you're going to click page numbers. Choose the icon that has the number one in the upper right hand corner. Click on that and it now puts you in the header. Now you're going to type your last name and after you type your last name, make sure you choose a, the space bar as well to put a space between your name and the page numbers. Now click somewhere in the document. Now what we want to do is we want to add the information that Mr. Frick requires at the top of our document. So first click back to your home button and then you want to click your left alignment button so that we put this on the left hand side of the page. Now we're going to type in the information that Mr. Frick wants at the top of our page. So please make sure you put this in accurately. Also, your name is in the center, so we want to make sure that that goes over on the left-hand side as well. Now, we want to reformat the page because it's in blue and many different fonts and colors. So if the first thing we want to do is we want to try and select all of the text at once. So go ahead and select all the text. It's a long document. So make sure you get the whole document selected. Now we want to go up to our pull down menus and choose the same font, the same size, which 12 font is usually standard. And then we can also click our button to make sure that all the text is in black. Now your document's ready to be sent to Schoology. Click on the editing button at the top and then click open in app. Now click on launch Microsoft Word and then click the open button. This is now opening your document on the Microsoft Word app on your iPad so that we can send it to Schoology. So it takes a few seconds for it to download it and open it up on your iPad. So just wait patiently while it opens up on your iPad. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up and click the share button in the upper right, then click send a copy, then click send with another app, then choose more when you're scrolling through the icons. Now scroll until you can see Schoology. Now your document can be submitted to a Schoology assignment Dropbox.